Hello, Potato. Today is March the 25th, and this is Quarantine Log number 5. And keeping in yesterday's theme, as uh, you see them still sitting over there, uh, we're going to go on with some more Disney Toy Box figures, and this time we're going to take a little trip to the dark side. Yesterday to the tropics, today to the dark side, and that is going to be with some Star Wars figures. We've got... Figure number one, Kylo Ren. Figure number four, Darth Vader. Figure number 15, the Sith Trooper. And figure number 16, Darth Maul, who's actually, as the numbers would indicate to you, the newest of the bunch. He actually just came out a month or so ago. I think I picked him up during one of the key giveaways where you had to buy you know, $15 worth of stuff. Things so I picked him up. Him and I believe Venom are the two newest ones. Um, so I commented yesterday about how the numbers I don't think reflected their actual releases. And I haven't looked into that or anything. I'm just noticing that Kylo here is number one. And I didn't pick him up that long ago. And they've been doing the Star Wars ones for a while. That said, he may just have been put back into production because of the uh, newer movie coming out. But I didn't pick him up that long ago. So let's uh, take a look at these guys. Um, yeah, no, I think Vader actually is the oldest one of these that I have. I have a bunch of these figures that I haven't haven't opened yet. Most because you know you don't want to wait on getting them because they discontinue them. Hence the fact I have Wasp and not Ant Man. Hence the fact I don't have Luke Skywalker. I didn't pick him up when he was available. I have Leia. I have Boba Fett. I actually didn't uh, comment on him yesterday when I was talking about the figures I have. But the Fett Man is right up here with a couple other Boba Fetts and the Ed 209. And back in place. There we go. Yeah, I suppose I better focus again. Apparently that's as good as that's going to get. So the packaging on these is kind of weird. You may have noticed like, there's a combination of, of tape cutting and having the tear. Like, see, these sides are taped down, but the bottom here is glued on, like a more traditional blister pack. And I wonder what the point of that was. Because it doesn't want doesn't to open easily. I wonder if they thought it would be easier to open this way, or more secure, or if it was just cheaper to use tape than to glue everything down. And he's got, I think, the same insert as the ones from yesterday. See, I would do like a light side day maybe, but the only light side figure I have is Yoda. I mean, there haven't been that many, uh, I mean, although, no, there have been that many Jedi's. They just, they don't have a lot of prequel stuff. I really think, um, I think that Darth Maul is the only prequel character that has been done in a toy box yet. And I don't know if he's in there because he's prequel or if he's in there because he appears in some of the animated series. And maybe makes him a little bit more current than, say, well, Dooku or ugh, Jar Jar. Although I would, I'm surprised it's like not but an Obi Wan Kenobi. I mean, he's he's relevant. I mean, either version, the older original trilogy version or the prequel version that I guess we're going to be getting at some point. A TV series based on for uh, Disney Plus, which that'd be good. I mean, honestly, I think at this point Disney should focus Star Wars a lot more on episodic stuff on Disney Plus. Um, because like I would do, I would like rework that. I mean, Mandalorian has shown that that um, Disney Plus is a great place for Star Wars. 
when done done well. And I mean, I'm I'm of the opinion that Mandalorian was done well. Oh, they don't make these easy to get out, do they? He is really tied in there. Can we just slip that out? There we go. Okay. But I would say, like, you know, do that, that Obi-Wan series. Do, uh, rework that canceled Boba Fett movie into a series like Mandalorian. Well, that's, that's fantastic. Now, does he stand up while making his creepy wave? Hello. Um, and yeah, he does. He stands up. Um, the, the cloak on him kind of affects his uh, flexibility a bit, but there's a lot of some nice detail work here for one of these figures. The cowl is actually a separate piece, so it can turn with, oh, his waist turns too. He can turn with the head a little bit, and not just hold his neck in place. He doesn't hold on to his saber very well, as you may have noticed. But, yeah, I mean, this is what I expect from, oh, stand up. Now he's not going to stand up again. I mean, he has an issue that a lot of toy box figures have of just kind of limited flexibility. But you kind of expect that when you've opened more than a couple of these. <clears throat> but they still look pretty good on a shelf. They have a, they have a nice style to them. Let's do Vader next. Honestly, for, for my Sith Lords, and I know he's not technically supposed to be one. He's, he's a Knight of Ren. Unless that's resolved in the last movie. I actually haven't seen the last movie yet. Um, I don't, I don't think, I don't find him as imposing as, like, well, any other, any other Sith we've seen. Um, I mean, he, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the imposing voice of Darth Vader, first of all. I mean, that's, I know that's a high, high bar to expect a character to, to be. But he just comes across as kind of whiny to me. Now, see, as you can tell, he's an older, an older one of the figures, really, because he's got twist ties instead of uh, those little, little plush tags. I much prefer this. This reminds me of my my days at KB, back before everything was held in with uh, plush tags and paper ties. When everything is held in by these these old twist ties, like the 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 uh, clear ones with the silver wire running through them. I used to be really good at unwrapping things fast. Because, you know, people buy stuff and they, Oh, can you open this for me? Because little Jimmy must play with it in the mall. And, you know, of course you don't say no. I mean, you can't say no. Telling a customer no is bad customer service and the customer's always right, which is not what that's supposed to mean. I'll tell you, in my experience, the customer is usually wrong and frequently lying. But that is something else. And that's why I feel sorry for uh, retail workers in general stuff to deal with that crap. Especially right now where they're getting underpaid to be exposed to people with infections. Yeah, that is not... They do not retail workers do not get paid enough. All right. So Vader is... He's got a very thin lightsaber compared to Kylo. That seems fragile. He holds it better. Oh, I say that as it drops out of his hand. He's doing the similar uh, force, force choke thing with his hand. He, you know, he looks a little derpy to me. Um, maybe just because the way the cape bulges up so far. His cape definitely interferes with his ability to stand. It makes him... Uh, Backwards, back heavy, kind of like Moana with her hair. I think I got him. I mean, nope, he's going. Can we, there we go. Kind of, kind of lean him forward a little bit. It's grandpa and grandson together at last. 
Um, I gotta say, figure-wise, I think I kind of like the uh, Kylo Ren figure better of the two of them. He looks kind of like those uh, play school ones. Do I have one of those handy? I don't have one handy. I do actually have... They released them again a few years back, but there was a series, I think it was originally called Galactic Heroes, that were like preschool... Um... Star Wars toys. And I do have some, because actually my wife had bought them back in her KB days. And she gave them to me because she didn't want to have to store them anymore. And I've got them in here somewhere, but I think they're at the bottom of a stack of something. But it was he reminds me of that. Kind of almost a little Rescue Heroes-ish. As far as... I think it's just the shoulders. It's just because he's got these big... The big puffed-up shoulders. Does his head move at all? See, oh, the waist bends, uh, turns. Yeah, his head... Oh, no, it does turn. It's just... Oh, there we go. That helps a little bit. Like, just making him look up a little helps. Drop. Yeah, I think having him look up helps a bit. Because his, his, his chin to his chest, I think, was, was what was hurting for me. Yeah, so I think, I mean, he's, he's a nice figure. I think he's actually not in production anymore. I don't think you can buy him on, in well, not that you can buy anything in the store right now. But I don't think he is sold in the store anymore. I think, I think Ren still looks like, I know I picked him up just in the last couple of months. I think possibly during another key release, or maybe with just when they were having a a buy two sale on the figures, like two for twenty or something, which isn't that great of a deal because I mean they're only thirteen dollars each. But I guess if you buy two, it's six dollars off, right? All right, let's move on to figure fifteen, the Sith Trooper. And again, so you can see here, I guess my comment on the packaging was somewhat heard by someone because. They've changed the packaging. This is kind of the original style packaging with that tape and blister. This is the newer stuff. The newer ones uh, do seem like they're all coming like this now, where they're just pure blister, less plastic, less packaging. Same price. Um, oh, they have a... Is that a different version of Kylo Ren, or does his... It's clearly the same figure. I think maybe that hood's supposed to come off. How do you do that? Or do I actually have an older version of the figure? Is that... Yeah, that's not coming off. Not unless the head comes off. I wonder if there's... If there's actually multiple versions of the figure and somehow I got an old one. Because I know I haven't had him for that long. Because yeah, it shows here that the, uh, the head comes off. Or the... The hood comes off. Yeah, I mentioned that set yesterday. I do have that set. If they had more droids, I could do a droid day. But, oh well. I might do Lego again tomorrow, because then I can just talk a little bit more about stuff. I don't have anything to talk about today. This is the podcast that I was going to talk about. So maybe, we'll do, maybe we'll do a Lego set tomorrow, and we'll talk about podcasts while I build it. So the Sith Trooper, and again, I haven't seen the newest movie, so I really don't. I can figure out the significance of a Sith Trooper, but I haven't seen it. Um, I say looking at him, though, visually, he looks like he's had one of those Palm Wonderful pomegranate juice ads. Like, you know, they had that one a year or so ago with the, uh, the samurai. Or at least in the samurai-style armor. He looks like if they did... Did, was any of that audible? He looks like if they uh, if they did a cross promotion with Star Wars, which frankly I'm surprised they haven't. Everybody else has. Um, that he would be like the Palm Wonderful Stormtrooper. Can he actually hold his gun that way? His arm doesn't seem like it quite wants to bend the way. Clearly, the figure's meant to hold the gun. Is there a way to twist that? I'm sorry, I'm like struggling to keep this in front of the camera, aren't I? 
he like just doesn't quite have the flexibility to hold the gun the way that the figure is clearly meant to. If I can force it, maybe I can force it. It'll hold it in the place. We'll put you over here with Kylo since you go with him anyways. You can protect him from what? I don't know because, uh, you know, he, he uh, his force abilities are pretty powerful if, if he's a little bit of a temper tantrumy child. All right, last one today. Darth Maul. Oh, you know, I didn't talk, talk about them to complain about the uh, arms. So he's very spindly. Got good articulation. I mean, he can sit down, but it's that way, like old. No, oh, you can. No, oh, he can. He can sit down. You can probably put him in like one of the toy box vehicles. I don't have any of the toy box vehicles. I would kind of like they have a set with Captain America on his motorbike. And um, Winter Soldier. What I'd really like is they have a set. They had it was from I think it was for Christmas last year. And last time I looked, my local store still had one in a really beat up box of like an Avengers set, but of like variant figures and of um, ones that haven't been available separately. Had like a, I think a like invisible Doctor Strange. And had War Machine, which is one I really would like out of it. It has um, Hawkeye with his Ronin mask. Has blonde, blonde Black Widow. Who else is in it? I think there might have been a Hulk in it. But I have a couple Hulks. I don't need another Hulk. But I, that War Machine figure I like. I, I like I like the look of War Machine. They don't do much of them in the movies, honestly. I mean. Maybe we'll see some more of him now that that Tony Stark Iron Man's out of the picture. Maybe we'll see some stuff, some more attention given to War Machine by himself. But I kind of doubt it. But I do have a couple Hulks. I have a Green Hulk that came in a box set with the Hulkbuster Iron Man, which I mostly bought for the Hulkbuster Iron Man. I, I like the. I've kind of always liked the design of the Hulkbuster Iron Man, even. Even back at KB, way before I was at all into these things, I would occasionally pick up the Marvel Legends figures. And I have some on my wall over here, uh, including an old Hulkbuster one. Let's... Well, let me finish this. Maybe I'll splice some, a shot of that in. All right, here's your shot of that Hulkbuster. I actually completely forgot to shoot this originally. And um, in the middle of editing this, heard myself say I was going to include a shot of it. So here it is. And just while we're here, let's look at some other of the old Marvel Legends figures from the early to mid-2000s. Yeah, the lighting's probably not great because I don't really have my light. So this is actually the opposite side of the room of where I normally record. So I don't have lighting set up to uh, fill over here very well, but here's you. Uh, here's your shot of another corner of the void space. All right, back to the video. Because I don't want to move the camera again. Are you still? Oh, I missed one. <sighs> More of these little plastic things. I suppose I should keep some scissors over here instead of just a box cutter. That might make these easier. Well, at least he pops right out otherwise. Better than our Sith Trooper friend there. I think this is this is one of the newest figures uh, as of the time of this recording. They released him and Venom. And I thought he looks, even though it looks a little, just a little wrong. What it looks to me like, and I know it's partially because of... Oh, I mean, he is actually shorter than the rest of them, isn't he? He looks like, and this is going to date my date me very quick, very well, if, you know... Everything else I say doesn't. Do you remember? I think it was a Tim Conway character called Dorf. And the thing with Dorf is that it was just Tim Conway on his knees with like shoes stuck to his knees. And he was... I don't think he was supposed to be a little person. He was just a short guy. And that's what it looks like we've got going on with Darth Maul here. It looks like it's a full-sized person on his knees with shoes stuck to the front of his, his, his uh, knees. 
Which, I mean, that's, that's a weird option. He holds his lightsaber better than the others, but can't... Nope. Nope, we cannot make him hold it in both hands, can we? Nope, he does not have that much flexibility. I wonder why they made him shorter. Is he shorter in the movies? I mean, I know we never see him standing next to Darth Vader and Kylo Ren in the films. In fact, we... But I think, you know what it is? It's his arms. His arms are too long. That's why he looks like that to me. His hands reach all the way to his knees. My hands don't reach that far. I, you know, I know he gets cut across, cut apart at the waist when they put him back together that they, like, leave out a chunk. That's why he looks weird to me. He's always looked weird to me. And now I can see why. It's because his arms are too big. It's not that the rest of him is too small. It's that his arms are way too large for this body. That's not great. Look at that. That's he can he can touch the top of his boots almost without bending over. Guess that's how he pulls pulls himself up by his bootstraps. They gave him these massive arms. I wonder what these arms are originally for. What happened in the design of this figure that they ended up with with these like big simian arms and a tiny tiny body. But that, that is exactly what it is. And it's kind of a shame you can't make him hold the saber in both hands, because that seems like that would be a good pose for him. It's not the way they show him in the box. They show him in the box. I don't think he can do that pose either. I think we've gone back to... We've gone from, also with these newer figures, we've gone from poses the figure could actually conceivably do to fantasy pictures like we used to get on the old little inserts. And see, these ones don't have inserts either. They don't show you upcoming figures because who knows? I mean, Disney could discontinue this at any time. They, they tend to do that with toys that are, I'm going to gender it, geared towards boys. Boys lines tend to disappear very quickly from Disney Store. Uh, they have, I think it was called Adventurers or something a few years back, which again were kind of this, um, not, even, not even a few years, maybe a couple years. I think I think they actually was some overlap between Toy Box and um, and Adventures. They were this kind of preschool boy-oriented action figure series of uh, like Peter Pan and, and I think it was an Aladdin one. But they were these very chunky figures again, like the old. Well, I guess they're back now. The Fisher Price Rescue Heroes. Very chunky, and um, they didn't last long. And then they had Peter Pan. I think they had Aladdin. I think for some reason there was a car. Because there always has to be a car if it's for boys, even if it's not a thing that relates to cars. Hence the fact Spider-Man has a dune buggy. And yes, the toy box line does have Spider-Man and his dune buggy. And no, I don't have it and have no intention of buying it. Um... But yeah, these are these are nice figures. I mean, they're they're an interesting art style. They look good on a shelf, provided you can get them to stand up. Uh, some do look better than others. I, I think the sculpt on the face, the expression's a little weird. Honestly, of the four of these, Darth Maul is the weakest, also the shortest. Um, there's some weird design choices on those arms there to give them these like these arms for a figure that. I mean, his arms are probably. About the same size as Vader, despite the fact he is almost a full head shorter than Vader is. And that is what's making him look weird to me. That's what makes him look like a grown man walking on his knees. It's because he's got the full length arms and the teeny tiny stubby legs. But still, I like him. It's nice to see a Darth Maul figure. Darth Maul is probably one of the least visually most interesting things about the prequels. And I have... can I grab it? It's probably a little dusty. And I'm facing away from the camera, so you probably can't hear this very well. And, ah. Let's let's dust him off first. He's been on that wall for a long time. Don't mind the silence or the sound of me dusting him. I keep like Swiffers right off camera here just in case I need him for something. Alright. I have this guy. I'm not opening him. He is not getting opened. Uh, he is, yes, this is an original Darth Maul from Episode 1. And does he have over, over the long... This has, he has like a tiny head on this figure, doesn't he? 
His saber is clearly a lot longer. Uh, I'm saying the saber is a little bit longer compared to the body. Um, yep, I got him working at KB, of course. We had 1998. This figure is 22 years old, and he's never been out of the package, and he probably never will be. Ah, uh, working at the KB Toys kiosk. We had a Star Wars Outpost kiosk. And it was silly because they put it in front of the store. So people who didn't realize it said KB Toys on the signage thought we had opened a kiosk in front of KB to compete against them. This is back when KB was still doing well. This is probably right before things kind of started to go downhill for them. Um, but yeah, he, uh, we had a kiosk there and I was staffing it. And that meant like a lot of 12-hour days just sitting there. And I found that time inside the store passes much faster than time at the kiosk. But eventually after a couple weeks when people stopped coming, because we wouldn't we weren't getting action figures in. Like all I had was Jar Jar Binks figures and I think Obi-Wan's. Um, we sold out of the shirt sizes that anybody actually wore. So I eventually ended up basically sitting there for 12 hours a day reading. And that's how I know the Phantom Menace novel is so much better than the movie because I was not going to be spoiled by, by somebody coming in having seen the movie on opening day when I had to work the kiosk. So I read the book. And then I saw the movie, and the movie was very disappointing to me. And I think that's, that's part of why the movie's always been very disappointing to me. And I'm just rambling now, so uh, why don't we cut this off? Because I'm trying to stay under the half an hour mark. So... I expect I will be back here tomorrow with log number six. Um, my my employer is starting to call people back, despite the fact they told us they wouldn't until April 1st. And um, so who knows, if I get that call today, I won't be here tomorrow. But if I'm not here tomorrow, just keep on that, uh, you know, I'm still not showing any symptoms of COVID. I'm still healthy. My household is still healthy. And I hope your household is healthy, too. So until the next video... I don't know why I said that, because that screws up the ending, doesn't it? So, make sure to wash your hands thoroughly, cough into your elbow, practice safe social distancing, and stay healthy. And I'll see you in the next video.